commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord.
blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. With thee, O Lord. For thou art the God and mankind are the Seeing me who in the spirit 
and in fire. Let us take away the sin of the world. Coming to him, cried out, saying, I am afraid and tremble. I dare not touch thine own. Sanctify me, O Master, who alone lovest mankind by thy divine epiphany. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared me for the face of all and the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the power of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Rejoice, O Virgin, pale Tophos. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among men. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast born the Savior of our souls. Rejoice, O Virgin Theotokos, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed
the builders, the cities, the heads of the morning. This is the Lord that's doing it, it is my Lord. The Lord is God, and as we reveal himself to us, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. The angelic powers were as lights boom, the gods became as dead and then. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst catch her hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. The angelic powers were at thy tomb, the gods became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life. O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God of our fathers, who always showest loving kindness to us, take not thy mercy from us, but through their supplications guard our lives in peace. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. When thou, for Lord, was baptized in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, and called thee his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove, confirmed the truthfulness of his word. O Christ, our God, who has revealed thyself, and has enlightened the world, glory to thee. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, when the tomb was open and he swept, Mary cried out to the apostles who had hidden themselves, Come forth, ye laborers of the vineyard, proclaim the tidings of the resurrection. The Lord hath risen, granting the world great mercy. Arise, Lord my God, and let, my, let thy hand be lifted high, and forget not thy prophets to the end. O Lord, Mary Magdalene stood before thy tomb and wept aloud, and supposing thee to be the gardener, she said, Where hast thou hidden our eternal life? Where hast thou laid him who sitteth upon the throne of the cherubim? For those who guard him have become as dead through fear. Either give me, my Lord, or cry out with me, O thou who wast among the dead, and hast raised up the dead. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Giving him to figure thy conception, and David recounted thy birth giving, O Theotokos. For the word descended into thy womb like the rain upon the fleece. And without seed thou didst put forth Christ our God, the salvation of the world. O holy ground, who art full of grace.
was shot where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed them from them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive you the Holy Spirit. Whosoever sins you remit their men are unto them, and whoever sins you retain, they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them. When Jesus came, the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and press my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again his disciples were with him, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold thy hand. Reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed they that have not seen me, yet have believed. And many other signs which really did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, that believe you might have life through his name. <laughs>
great martyr George the Trophy there, the holy great martyr Andrew Dr. Bain, the holy great martyr Barbara, the holy martyr Stephen Calvin, the memorable and God-bearing fathers who shone forth the ascetic light, Sarah and Sarah and Herman the Wonder Worker of Alaska, the holy righteous priest Jacob and Mike Center of Alaska, and the Lights of Rosemary in Minneapolis, and St. Tupac of the Dogs, our heavenly patron, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints. We beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken to us sinners to make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Restoreth corrupted Adam with the streams of the Jordan, and crusheth the heads of the serpents who make their nest therein, for he hath been glorified. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. The Lord who, be who became a cart of the virgin, clothing material flesh and the immaterial fire of the Godhead, thus wrapped himself in the water of the Jordan, for he has been glorified. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us, and that thou art the abyss of wisdom, the treasury of understanding, and wellspring of goodness, O Christ. Thou dost enable me to him, Gregory, the luminary of thy glorious church, with him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with rich and wise discourse of Gregory, initiate of the sacred mysteries. Thou dost teach the honor of church to theologize the Trinity as a unity of three members, equal in tone, unequal in honor. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Virgin Theotokos, let the faith be reckoned as one, but not the demonstration of thy wonders which pass understanding. For thou gavest birth to the unapproachable word of God, who hath clothed himself in humanity. There is not as holy as thou, O Lord my God, who has exalted the power of thy faithful, O blessed one, and has established us upon the rock of In the flesh melted away in fear, yet it was held firmly together by the sustaining hand of him who was crucified for our sake. In the Lord, to the holy resurrection of the Lord, wretched death, undone by death, life's likeness, for enabled to endure the assaults of divine life, mighty death is slain, and resurrection is given to all. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O Church of Christ, who of old was barren and grievously childless. Be glad today, for by water and the Spirit, children have been born unto thee who cry of the faith. There is none holy as our God. In the Lord, to thee, O God, glory to thee. In the wilderness of the forerunner, Christ, oft with a loud voice, prepare ye the ways of the church and make straight the path of our God, praying oft with faith, there is none as holy as our God. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us, so it is joint vision to activity, O Father. Wherefore, Christ entrusted to thee the governance of the church, which thou didst blamelessly administer as a most excellent initiate of the mysteries of heaven, O most blessed Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, passing beyond the boundaries of the virtues of Gregory, and appointing a sense in thy heart, thou hast been taken up from the earth by thy constant yearning for the dwelling place in heaven before the departure from the flesh. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen, O Mother of God, without enduring the pains of eternity, thou didst originally give birth unto the incorrupt one, who shone forth from the Father, 
Wherefore, in orthodox manner, we proclaim as Theotokos, he who gave his birth to the incarnate word. The Lord, who gives strength to our kings and exalts the horn of his anointed, is born of a virgin and comes to be baptized. Therefore, let us the faithful cry aloud, none is holy as our God, and none is righteous saving said, A great light hath shone, even Christ. The radiant darkness hath dawned upon those who sat in darkness, shining forth from Bethlehem. The Lord, born of Mary, the Son of Righteousness, shineth forth with splendor upon the whole world. Come, therefore, all ye naked children of Adam, and let us clothe ourselves in him, that we may be warmed. For he who covereth the naked and enlighteneth those in darkness hath come. He hath appeared in the unapproachable light. Arch with the eye of thy soul, O holy Pyrarch, that it show thyself to be a vigilant pastor for the world, and with the staff of thy wisdom and thy permit intercession, that is drive away all the heretics like wolves, preserving the flock unharmed, O most wise Slothfulness have I, the wretched one, fallen asleep unto death. But as the most vigilant shepherd raised me up, O Father, and lo, to seek the passions which cruelly torment me, that rising up in purity I may hymn thy splendid repose, which the master of the universe hath glorified as his meat, as that of a most faithful servant, a most wise teacher, a friend, and initiate of the mysteries, as guardian of his traditions, the anointing whereof thou didst well preserve, O most wise Gregory. Thou hast inherited divine effulgence, having lived an immaterial life, and hast shown forth in the priesthood, for which thou hast named, or supernaturally explaining the doctrines of the faith, that thou didst make the world steadfast in orthodoxy. O Venerable Father, entreat Christ God that he grant us great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, adorned with the God-given anointing of the priesthood, O Father, that it's illuminated with the divine beauties of the virtues, and with godly submission to Christ. And having finished thy course, thou criest out with the angels in the heavens, glory to thy compassion, O Savior, glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O thou who alone lovest mankind, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. When Jesus had been born of the Virgin Mary and was baptized by John in the Jordan, the Spirit, seen in the form of a dove, descended upon him. Wherefore the prophet said with the angels, Glory to thy coming, O Christ, glory to thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O thou who alone lovest mankind. Christ is my strength, my God and my Lord, the sacred church sings in a manner befitting God, with a pure mind keeping fast unto the Lord. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, the tree blossoms forth true life, O Christ, for the cross was planted. And water with the blood, and water which flowed from an incorrupt side, but budded toward the life for us. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. No longer will the serpent pose the proper deification, for Christ be the defier of human nature, has now given thee unhindered access to thee. 
and hindered access to the path of life. Glorious be our God, glorious be who hath ever seen the sun cleanse, which is dazzling by nature, the herald crieth out, Am I then to wash with water the effulgence of glory, the image of the eternal Father? Am I, who am grass, to touch thy divinity? For thou art Christ, the wisdom and power of God. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. When he happened upon thee, Moses showed the divine reverence himself, for he understood that it was thee who spake out of the bush, and he straightway, straightway averted his face. Now then, can I gaze directly at thee? How can I touch thee with my hand? For thou art Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us, receiving the grace of the Spirit, thou didst pull aside the veil of the scriptures of the Old Testament, and didst reveal to us the hidden beauty of understanding. The Lord is to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, showing forth the blessed aspects of all the virtues Christ entrusted to thee, Gregory, as to a minister of the world, the task of proclaiming them abroad to the ends of the world. Now and ever unto ages of ages, amen, without becoming subject to corruption, thou didst conceive in thy womb without confusion, and gave us birth without pain, and in giving birth to God in the flesh, thou hast preserved a virgin even after birth giving. With thy life divine, O good Lord, illumine thy hands me from the souls of those who may love you. Since they beheld thee, O word of God, as the true God, who made a path to paradise for the thief. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord. No longer will I fear to return to the earth of Christ. With thy great loving kindness, thou hast led me off, the forgotten one, from the earth to the highest incorruption, corruption, through thy resurrection. Glorious be our God, glorious be. When countless people went down to be baptized of John, thou thyself didst stand in their midst, and he announced. To those present who have told you, O rebellious ones, to avoid the impending wrath, bring forth fruits worthy of Christ, for he standeth before you, granting peace. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Standing in the midst, the Creator, and fashioning alone, tries the hearts of all, and taking his winnowing fan in his hand, the most wise and thus separate the harvest of the whole world, let in the chaff fall away, and he grants eternal life to the fruitful. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou didst denounce the iniquity of Enonymus and his words, which were difficult to escape, and thou didst destroy the evil snares of his wiles like a spider's web. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst denounce the most ungodly Macedonians, who shamelessly reviled the divine spirit, as unrelated to him who is a most excellent Gregory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen, having seedlessly given birth for us to Christ, our righteousness and deliverance of Theotokos. Thou didst free the nature of our first father from the curse. In holy mercy of life, surging with the storm of temptations, I have fled to thy tranquil haven and cried out to thee. Raise up my life from corruption, O great Crucified, O Master, with thy nails, thou didst know the curse against us, and pierced in the side by the Spirit, thou didst free the world, rending asunder the record of Adam's transgression. O Lord, into the hell of the resurrection, O Lord, having been tripped by the sea, Adam fell headlong to the abyss of Hades. But thou, who art a merciful God by nature, didst go down to search for him, and lifting him up upon the shoulder, didst raise him up with thyself. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Christ, who is begotten incorruptibly of God the Father, is incarnate of the Virgin without defilement. The forerunner teacheth that it is not possible to lose the sandals, the bond between the Word and us, of him who delivereth mortals from deception. Glory to the Father, glory to the God, glory to you. Glory to the O God, glory to you. With the uttermost fire shall Christ baptize his enemies who do not acknowledge him as God, but he shall restore with water the of grace those who accept his divinity, delivering them from their two wretches. Venerable Father Gregory, pray God for us. O Gregory, with thy rich discourse, 
Thou didst utterly refute the reasonings of Arius, the arrogant division and alienation which he believed to exist within the Trinity. From the Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Sabellius, who wages war against uh, on God, stupidly reasoning that there is a mingling and confusion within the Trinity, was denounced to thee, O most blessed Gregory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Virgin Mother, thou gavest birth, and giving birth remain pure, truly bearing him who holdeth all things in his hands. of the enemy, and that thou art the God of all. Sent to Christ, and our first father was shown to be full of gladness and dancing. He leapt up, crying, Blessed are thou, God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, as in heaven, with trembling and wonder, the angelic host stood before thee in the Jordan, witnessing the breath of God's condescension. For the God of our fathers, who holdeth the firmament of the waters above, stood incarnate as a man in the waters. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. The cloud and the sea of old prefigured the wonder of divine baptism, for the ancient people of the law were baptized therein when they fled Egypt. The sea was an image of the water, and the cloud was an image of the spirit, whereby we are made perfect, and we cry out, Blessed are thou, Lord our God, forever. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us. As a father, thou hast left thy discourses, the purity of the ways of thy soul, and the fullness of understanding, as a treasure for those who chant with faith. Blessed art thou, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst declare the Father to be the primal mind and cause, the begetter of the world, the emitter of the Spirit, 
hymning the Trinity, saying, Blessed art thou, O God. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. O most immaculate one, thou gavest birth to the incarnate God, a single hypostasis in two natures, and to him do we all chant, Blessed art thou, O God. Art of the place thou didst drop to on the godly ones, and with water didst kindle the sacrifice of the righteous one. For thou doest all things as thou willest, O Christ, we exalt thee above all throughout all the ages. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, the Jewish people who of old were slayers of the prophet, hath jealousy now made slayers of God. For they lifted thee upon the cross, O word of God, him do we exalt supremely for all ages. The glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, thou didst not leave the vault of heaven and descend into Hades, thou didst raise up to thyself all of men, all of man who lay in the mire, O Christ, and he exalted thee supremely for all ages. Glory to thee, our God, Amen. glory to thee. Put aside all fear, the deliverer said to the forerunner, Obey me, and that I am good, and touch me, for tangible have I become by nature. Submit to my commands, and baptize me, whom come down. Him do the people bless and exalt supremely for all ages. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. When the Baptist heard the words of the Master, he stretched forth his hand with trembling, as, and as he touched the head of his creator, he cried out to him, who was being baptized, Sanctify me, for thou art my God, whom the people bless and exalt supremely for all ages. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us. O the two wondrous brethren, kin in the flesh, and divine in understanding, Honoring them, let us reverence Basil and Gregory together forever as is me. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord, when the way to life made his abode within thee, O Father, he set thee forth as an ever burning lamp for the world, beaming the one divine light of the threefold Son, whom we exalt supremely for all ages. Now and ever and unto ages, <coughs> Amen. O all your words, as is meet, let us bless her who in manner past understanding gave birth to the Lord. The God man yet remained a virgin, and let us exalt her supremely for all ages. We praise us and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him throughout all the ages. The love of the Lord, he entered us as in four and four and two, foreshadowed a marvelous mystery. Our important church received in its dreams the Blessed is 
Nor didst thou leave thy life creating and divine soul in Hades, O Master, but having arisen from the sleep, thou didst raise us up with thyself. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O David, come thou in spirit to the enlightened enchant. Approach God now with faith and be illumined. Lowly Adam cried out in his fall, and the Lord heard him. And coming to the streams of the Jordan, he restored the corrupted one. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Isaiah says, change your ways and cleanse yourself. Leave up your wickedness in the face of the Lord. Ye who thirst, go to the living water. For Christ sprinkles the water with water those who have recourse to him with faith, renewing them, and he baptized into the Spirit and to the life which ages not. Venerable Father Gregory, pray to God for us. So most excellent initiation of the mysteries, standing now before the Trinity with the choirs of the angels, the prophets, the martyrs, the righteous, and the patriarchs. Be thou mindful of us who hymn thy memory, O Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou lookest down now from the high, holy hierarch, defending the Church of Christ, granting victory of, to Orthodox Christians, and thou hast broken the yoke of slavery, <coughs> saving, those, saving those who sing thy praises by the supplications, O Gregory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As thou gavest birth to the author of creation, the most pure one, Thou uh, bearest him who generated the beginning of all things, possessing supernatural and incomparable greatness. Wherefore, worshiping thine offspring, we glorify thee. Every target that a lost in praise he has his due, even a spirit from the world above is filled with busyness. When it seeks to sing thy praises, O Theotokos, but since thou art good, accept our faith. Thou knowest well our love inspired by God. For thou art the protectors of Christians, and we magnify thee. Again and again in peace, let us praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O
doors were shut, O Master, thou didst enter in and fill the apostles with the all-holy spirit, breathing forth peace upon them, and thou didst tell them that they have the power to bind and to loose. And on the eighth day thou didst show thy side and thy hands unto Thomas. With him do we cry out, Thou art our Lord and God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With festive hymns, let us all glorify the most wise Gregory, the good shepherd, the bishop of Nyssa, the brother in the flesh of the all-wise Basil, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. The Savior appeared, grace and truth, in the streams of the Jordan, and he illumined those sleeping in darkness and shadow, for he, the immutable light, hath come and appeared. With six tone, let heavy breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. To the O God is to us song. Praise Him, all ye angels of His. Praise Him, all His hosts. To the O God. Thomas to be engulfed in the storm of unbelief, where 
and we pray for his beatitude at our Metropolitan Tea Conference, Grace Fisher Alexis, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right from an of this holy monastery, our commandments, searches with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country as president for all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy habitation and for all our fathers and brethren the orthodox who part in this life before us who hear it in all the world lives and even the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the brotherhood of this holy monastery seminarians, faculty, staff, alumni, benefactors of this holy habitation, and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present, who await that great and rich mercy. Right. 
Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most dear mother, to the holy glorious and laudable apostles, of our holy patron Saint Tikhon, to Dons, of Saint Tikhon, patron of Muslim life of North America, and founder of the Holy Habitation, Saint Alexis the Wilkes, by Saint Ronald Wilkes, and Saint Nicholas, his teacher, of our holy father Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa, and Saint Theophon, the Reckless, and commemorating today, to the holy and righteous ancestors of God, you are commanded of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. his neighbor, and I have driven him away from me. He who has a proud eye and an insatiable heart, with him I have not eaten. And eyes are upon the face of the land, that they might dwell with me. He that walked in the blameless path, he served me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of wondrous things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, that I might only destroy all the workers of iniquity from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God, hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God, hallelujah, 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 glory to the O God, Lord, I mercy, Lord, I mercy, Lord, I mercy. Angelic flowers were at thy tomb, the guards became as dead men. Mary stood by thy grave, seeking thy most pure body. Thou didst capture hell, not being tempted by it. Thou didst come to the virgin, granting life, O Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thou, Lord, was baptized in the Jordan. The worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, and called thee his beloved Son. And the Spirit in the form of God confirmed the truth of my Son, and Lord, O Christ our God, who has revealed thyself, and has sent light in the world. Glory to thee. Now and upper unto the ages of ages. Amen. Why shall we call thee, O full of grace, heaven for thou hast shined forth the sun of righteousness, paradise for thou hast blossomed forth the flower of incorruption, virgin for thou hast remained in the crop, your mother of now hast held in my holy embrace, the son of his God, beseech him to save our souls, order my steps, according my word, let no iniquity have dominion over me, deliver me from the false accusation of man, and so I will keep thy commandments, make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. My mouth to fill with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, who live mortal and mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, who live mortal and mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, who live mortal and mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, I must see Lord, I must see Lord, I must see. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever on to the ages of ages. Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For the Lord is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is God, the giver of life, raised all the dead from the valleys of misery with his mighty hand. He bestowed resurrection on the human race. He is the Savior of all, the resurrection of life, and the God of all. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord, in the cellar, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, and our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. 
Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, and guide and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith, and to the knowledge and unapproachable glory. Bless our thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Lord. To the cattle coast, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. I thank God for calling to us and bless us and shine by thy countenance upon us. Be merciful unto us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, who will be kind to every man of comfort to the world, the light of thy countenance be shining upon us and the people of light and approachable. Light of Jesus Christ, the light of thy countenance be in a session of the naked mother and of all thy saints. Amen. To the day thou hast appeared to thy good members, and thy light, O Lord, has shone on us, who with understanding praise thee, thou hast come and revealed thyself, O Oh. 